right, this is a full moon reading for Virgo. Um, this is when the plums are scarlet, the deers are pawing the earth, the baby calves are finally growing hair, and it's a full moon, uh, mostly for corn, it's harvest moon, for corn, pumpkins, squash, beans, and wild rice. Everything else was either picked before or after this, so I'm not including certain things. Because in certain areas there's different growing times and different harvest points for each thing. So, anyway. And this moon is in Pisces. Pisces is mine. Um, and I think this is actually Virgo's um, birthday month for some of you. Um, so, as interesting as that is, let's see, um, so, mostly what, what Pisces talks about is intuition, the unconscious, what your dreams tell you, and, um, sacrifices, and blocks, releases, whatever the case. Um, so, yes, we're more fluid beings than we like to give ourselves credit for. But anyway, um, let's see, Virgo. We got, a what must you sacrifice in order to, you know, continue. Um, we have the Nine of Swords. <laughs> Nine of Swords. Anxiety over a loved one. Worry and concern. A quarrel, um, of other major unhappiness. A miscarriage. Despair and sacrifice, sometimes death, and sometimes disillusionment. Um, so, you are way too far in your head, my friend. Um, so, you know, death is a part of life. Um, I myself pride myself on knowing people's death days. You're welcome. And, um, yeah. Anything bad that you think will happen will never happen. Things that will happen would have never crossed your mind in a million years. You probably didn't think that this would happen, but it does. And, um, yeah, you're probably just like, I need to release a lot of things. If I'm suffering, I need to release that, get into a positive frame. If I'm unhappy, I need to get happy again. If there was a miscarriage, I need to try again. Um, but if there's a death, like, you kind of have to celebrate somebody's life. That's what, you know, Latinos do. And Latinas. Um, but, yeah. Um, we celebrate people's lives. We remember them. And then, um, I myself go and find their death days so I can find out everything that happens and what the sky looks like. Um, because I kind of want to know what the final curtain is because I'm kind of mysterious like that and I kind of like that. Anyway, we have the next question, which is, where must I listen to my intuition? Um, the Three of Swords. Uh, uh, my favorite card in the deck. It haunts me every night. Anyway, we have the Three of Swords, Disappointment, Opposition, Separation, and Breaking Apart of a Relationship, Delay, and Absence. So somebody is absent from your life and you're just kind of like, what the hell happened? Um, it's either they died or they just don't want to keep in contact with you. Um, for whatever reason. I'm not going to read too much into that because you all know. Um. I like the way that that's fucking red though. So, like, you're having trouble with something happened, probably a breakup, and then over here, it's like, right when this breakup happens, you need to meditate, so the setup is good, um, anyway, we have the next question, which is, what blocks you from hearing it, hearing the message, we have the ace of wands, so intensity, um, so ruin, um, a senseless delay or cancellation before beginning, anger, unfulfilled dream, decadence, and meaningless existence. Don't we all have that? Yeah, I still suffer with depression, so. 
the rainbow effect. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, my therapist still thinks I have a problem with PTSD and depression. Mm. Yeah, I look up death days and I do tarot card readings, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, they're, you know, if you feel unfulfilled, then that's your problem. Because you're dealing with tradi tradition stuff. Like, you had expectations of tradition and other people don't. Um, but you can't really hold it against them because everybody in this generation and other generations are just completely nuts and total whack jobs. Anyway, getting back and taking a breather from my explanation of how I see the human race. Um, we have the next question, which is, what is in store for you upon this release of energy? Um, we have this, you know, <laughs> the lovers. Um, anonymity, um and harmony, setbacks overcome, the confidence in life, um, and the future, blindness uh, to the future and certain trials, all aspects of love, and especially um, that of friends and relatives, freedom, um, strength of emotions. So you're going to fall in love again, or you're going to just, you know, just do your own damn thing. Um, which is cool. Um, you have love and you have choices, which is good. Um, you get to explore that. Um, so. I, I think people forget that they can ask for what they want or set the expectation before they start dating people. Um, and I think that's the problem with people today. You know. Anyway, with me, you know. Why would I need anything else? <sighs> anyway, Virgo, y'all have been, you know, real with me. I just try to be as real as possible with Virgo. But some of y'all just, like, space out sometimes. I don't know. I can only pick up four of you, and y'all are, like, spaced out. You guys look like animated looting tunes to me. Anyway, so... This has been this, the September moon in Pisces. Um, yeah. It's too bad I don't have a sponsor for this. That would be funny. Um, sponsored by Sounds. Anyway. Uh, Virgo. So, once you release and you kind of get over this little oopsie doopsie, you'll realize that that person was not the one for you. There's going to be somebody else. Um, and if it's me, <laughs> my little elusive self, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what I want. I never did. Anyway, so, if this was insightful for you as much as it was for me, leave a like. If you like what I, what I'm doing, subscribe and if you have any questions comments concerns ideas for my next video leave it in the comment section below and I will read those I read mostly everything because I get bored as hell trying to edit this fucking video truth um but yes mm. you're gonna find somebody who's nice you know, that's kind of weird like you are. Uh, it's going to be weird. You guys are going to be like Gravity Falls people. It's gross. Anyway, I will see you in the next video, right, Virgo? It's going to be fun. Bye now.